everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You know, I grew up watching football, especially Maradona's football. A few moments ago, Alan Maradona has died at the age of 60 in Argentina. I remember during 1990 while I was watching uh, the World Cup, I was thinking what angle he kicks the ball so that he get the maximum range. What is the connection between the angle and the range and what should be the X component of the velocity and what should be the Y component of the velocity and how as a soccer player he gets everything perfectly so that he scored the, the goal. This type of thinking really found me love with physics. Now, uh, one of the fascinating goal that inspired me to fall in love with physics is this one. Let's take a look. Okay, in this um, uh, in this game. Uh, Maradona kick the ball with with um, he kick the ball with uh, the x component of the velocity the x component of the velocity is all right so he kicked the football with velocity he kicked the football with velocity b with initial velocity v with the angle theta okay and what is known is the x component of the velocity vx is 10 is square root of 2 meter per second and vy also known 10 is square root of 2 meter per second okay now i want to know the initial velocity I also want to know the angle that he kicked the ball. So let's first find the initial velocity and how can I do that? Number one, finding finding initial velocity. Well, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. This one is 10 square root of 2 and this one is 10 square root of 2. So if I know this one and I know this one, I should be able to know this one because this one is the initial velocity. So I use a square plus b square equal to c square. a square is velocity at the x direction is square b square is velocity at the y direction is square is velocity initial square. So this one is 10 square root of 2 square plus 10 square root of 2 square is equal to v initial square. So this one is uh, 100 to 200, so 400. V initial is squared is 400. So V initial is 20. All right, so initial velocity, he kicked the ball with 20 meter per second. Turn out. He kicked the ball with 20 meter per second. Now the next thing I want to find is the angle. I want to find the angle. So number two, finding the angle. Finding the angle. How can I do that? I can use so ka toa and all give us the same result. Let's use so, let's use ka, and let's use toa. And they all give me the same answer. Sine theta is opposite of our hypotenuse. So opposite. Um, well, this one turned out to be what? This one turned out to be 20. So I have this one, 20. I'm going to write it in red. I'm going to write it in red. So opposite is 10 raised to 2. Uh, I mean 10 root 2 and the hypotenuse is 20. All right. So then theta is square root of 2 over 2. 
So theta is 45 degree. All right. Now let's see the course and how you can get the 45 degree. Let's see. You take the calculator. You press um, a square root of 2. And then you divide it by 2. And that gives you 0 0.707. That gives you 0 0.707. Now you press second, you press sign, and then you write 0 0.707106 and that gives you 45 degree. All right. So let's say uh, cosine is cosine theta is Jason is 10 this to the square root of 2 and hypotenuse is 20 so theta is inverse cosine inverse over 10 the square root of 2 over 20 and theta is 45 degree you can use the tangent tangent theta is opposite is 10 raised to 2 10 root 2 and Jason is 10 root 2. So theta is inverse tangent 1. So theta is 45 degree. So no matter how you do it, you get 45 degrees. Good. So he kicked the ball with 45 degrees. That's how he got the maximum range. So the goal post was a far away i don't know how far away was the goal post but he scored goal the goal post was here i don't know this distance i want to know this distance but in order to know this distance i have to know how long the ball was in the year so elapsed time i need to know the elapsed time and elapsed time will allow me to um, allow me to find allow me to find the range okay so let's find the elapsed time how can i do that elapsed time velocity has two component so as you see that the velocity has two component v cosine theta and v sine theta v is 20 cosine 30 uh, cosine 45 and 20 sine 45 20 cosine two, so as you see that this is 20 20 is square root of 2 over 2 this is the cosine 45 and 20 is square root of 2 over 2 so that gives us 10 root 2 and 10 root 2. So the both component, the x component and the y component, that's the same because kick the ball with 45 degree angle. That's why 45 degree angle give you the maximum range and Maradona knew that because he was he was almost a god of football. Okay, now I want to know the hang time. In order to know the hang time, I need to know the y component, not the x component. I need to know the y component. I have to use the y component. So now, remember d is equal to v i t plus a half a t squared. And instead of d, I can write y is equal to v i y t plus a half a y or z t squared. So now y is equal to v i y. What is v i y? The initial velocity at the y direction is 10 root 2 t minus. This is 10, so 5 t squared. Now y must be 0 right here. y is 0 right here. When the ball lands, y is 0. So 0 is equal to 10 root 2 t minus 5 t squared 
All right, you factor out t, so you get 10 root 2 minus 5t. So you get, um, what do you get? Let's come over here, t is equal to 0, that's the 1, and then 10 root 2 minus 5t is equal to 0. So 5t is equal to 10 root 2. So t is equal to 10 root 2 over 5. So 10 root 2 over 5 is 10 root 2 divided by 5 is 10 root 2 divided by 5 is 2.8. So the time is 2.8. T is 2.8 second. All right. So the ball was in the year. 2.8 second altogether. I want to know the range. Okay, the range. I also want to know the maximum height. So I want to know the maximum height. Maximum height. Take, let's let's take a look the way he kick. All right. So the maximum height here. We're going to find the maximum height. Uh, to find the maximum height, I have to use the y component of the equation. So there are two equations. D is equal to VAT plus half AT square. X component and Y component. X component is VIXT plus half AXT square. And the Y component is VIYT plus half gt squared to find the maximum height we have to use this one this is d so the vf has to be zero all right so then this one is negative so negative g so i put the z over here so then 2gd is equal to vi squared this is the all y direction by the way all right so d y is equal to v y squared over 2g all right v y is how much uh v y is 10 square root of 2 and 2g is 2 times 10 which is 20. so this is uh 100 times 2 is 200 all right 10 so 10 meter all right the maximum height of the ball in the projection 10 meter above the ground now let's say whether we can get the same answer d is equal to uh 10 is square root of 2 times 1.4 minus half 10 1.4 square so d is equal to 10 square root of 2 times 1.4 and that is 19.8 minus you have 1.4 square times 10 times 0.5 and that is give you 9.8 so 19.8 minus 9.8 gives you 10 <laughs> all right so we get the same answer both ways we can I previously show you to get this one 10 different ways you can get it 10 different ways but I think two ways enough now the other important thing I want to show you the that, so from here to here, t let's take a look how Maradona kicked it and how it goes 10 meters above the ground. So look, that's, that is 10 meters above the ground. All right. Now, we want to find the range. So I know that this is from here to here is 10 meters above the ground. So when the time was 1.4 second, after 1.4 second after he kicked the ball, uh, the ball was at 10 meters above the ground. 
Now range. When the time was at at 2.8 seconds, the ball reached the ground. So, all right, so we want to find the range. How far was it from the origin? All right. So we want to know the range. So the range is d is equal to vit. We have to use this formula. vit plus half at squared. Remember to use the x component. The x component of the displacement called range. This is zero. Acceleration due to gravity at the x direction is zero. So vix is 10 is square root of 2. And the time is 2.8 seconds after he kicked it. So 10 square root of 2 times 2.8. That gives um, yeah thirty nine point five nine. So I'll say about forty meters. So yeah, I'll say about forty meters. Okay. So forty meters. Oh my God! I cannot even kick the ball and get like ten meters away. So this is forty meters. So this is zero meter and this is forty meter. Forty meters. All right, so Maradona kicked the ball with 45 degree angle with initial velocity 20 meter per second. The ball was in the air for 2.8 seconds. The maximum height of the ball 10 meter and the range, the range is 40 meter. And that turned out to be one of the greatest goal ever. Uh, once again, uh, uh, thank you uh, and everyone have a happy Thanksgiving.